Hey guys, I'm back again with another video and I'm not back again, you know guys. That's the first video um play with us. I was actually super excited to download this video for you guys, but I was late for one reason and not not exams, another reason actually. While editing uh this video, I found that the sound of touch is annoying. All around the video, the sound of touch is annoying. So I decided to recapture this video, you know, because I was annoyed of that sound. So I decided to recapture it for you guys. So in today's video, let's get into the main idea. But I, I want to tell you just one more thing. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to play with us. And check the link down below for my first channel, which is Create With Us. It's an amazing channel. You get a lot of things you like as DIY projects and things like that um, and don't forget to smash the like button guys I actually super excited to get one of my videos to 100 likes so you can do this guys so I don't want to get you bored guys so let's get in the main idea of the video so I'm sure that a lot of you guys have the same trouble while deleting files and it tells you no permission to delete to delete so why no permission to delete that's my own file I want to delete it so why no permission to delete here is it it's super annoying I just want to delete something it's taking more than 40 megabytes and my phone you know storage is super low I want to delete it oh my gosh no permission to delete so that's super annoying message that I truly hate to see so today guys I'm going to show you the easiest method to fix this message or this error this uh, this way requires nothing no root no apps no file manager no file explorer no connecting to PC no anything just you your phone and done so guys the only things that you may need you may need a file manager because some phones doesn't come with file managers so my my phone have a file manager so I'm not gonna download anything so here is my file manager it's just like any file manager you can download from the Play Store but if your phone don't have one of these so that's the only thing you will need so you may download you know just go to Play Store easily so this tutorial works for Android phones I don't know if it works for iOS, I don't have an iOS, <laughs> I have an Android phone, so you can type maybe file explorer. So this ES file explorer manager or I don't know, this thing is not bad, you know, I tried it out but I found out that it's the same as the file manager coming with my phone. So guys if you have a file manager you don't need you know you don't need to download these useless apps so the other disk which was the internal storage it was deleting files easily but when i switched it to sd card oh it didn't want to delete so i found out that the default right disk have no permission to delete files so the easiest way to do that is to go to settings device section storage and then switch your default your default right disk so if you didn't see this i went to settings device and storage so that's it guys so you switch to phone storage so i i'm going to switch and press ok and my phone will reboot guys don't be worried about don't be worried about any lost data apps photos and things like that when you switch back to your main drive that you were was using manually uh everything will come back again so don't be worried guys it happens with me so i will be back after rebooting and I will tell you guys what apps disappeared from my background and I'm going to tell you after that that it will be back and I'm going to show you how it will be. So let's, you know, reboot the phone and I will be back. Guys, I'm back again after rebooting and the default right disk was changed. I make sure that it was already changed. So as you can see if you noticed that there was an app around here and it's disappeared but I'm not worried because it will be back again so we can go and make sure that the default right disk is changed so device storage map storage and it's changed to phone storage so getting out again and going to my file manager we got my 
find manager SD card because that's where the file which was this here we are delete okay delete it so congrats guys if you used this method so it's super easy you can just use it easily and it will work amazingly so actually that's the whole idea uh, of this method it's super easy guys it requires nothing just you your phone but the only problem is if you don't have a file manager you have to download one but it requires nothing guys and i even didn't connect my phone to pc so i'm not finishing up now i will reboot my phone again to get this back this app around here back for you guys to tell you that any lost data will be back again so going back to settings device storage and SD card so the phone will reboot again so I will be back after this time of rebooting and guys after the third time of rebooting I'm bored but the app is around here so the all of my data all of my loose data is back into my phone so the whole idea is I wanted to show you the super easy method that requires nothing just to help you guys because this message no permission to delete is the worst annoying message that can appear on a phone I actually hate this message more than when it tells me oh my gosh low space so I will make more videos guys but this is the first video on my channel so don't forget to subscribe and like and share and comment if you got any questions if you want me to make any tutorial about anything in you know the world of technology okay guys so thanks guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check create with us down below and i hope this video was helpful for you guys down below and my facebook page link also is in the description so everything is down below in the description everything you will need so thanks again guys and bye